Oh no, one of my wheels just came off. <laughs> well, that's gonna make it exciting on this landing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, um. Hey pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm your product specialist, Wesley, and today we have the Bison XT out here version two, just playing with it a little bit. Today I'm running a little less air in the tires, just trying to see how it feels. Figured I'd come back out and give it another flight. So, perfect rough runway for our Bush model. Here we go, taking off. That tail up, and she's just a beaut. I got no flaps right now, just flying it. And the Bison is an acrobatic airplane, for sure. Kick that rudder in, coming around. Still no flaps into my headwind. Little touch and go. I kind of like it with the flatter tires. It sticks a little better. Stick her up in the knife edge. I, I've grown to really like this airplane the more I fly it. You could really toss it around and have a great time. And I mean, it just comes back for more. Stay down in there nice in the weeds. Now, I have noticed if you get it too nose heavy, it really spoils this airplane. So be careful about getting your battery too far forward. Uh, I'm actually flying it with a 4,000 milliamp uh, Admiral Pro Pack 6S in here. And I have it slid quite far back in the battery bay. Hover it. Perfect blue skies, you probably can't tell it was hovering though. But man, look at that, get down in the weeds and just have a ball. You know, I know it has flaps, but I kind of like the way it flies without them. Uh, it's got such a big lifting wing, you really don't need them that much. As you can see, look at it come in. Three pointer. Woohoo! 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 Wing screen. Got it! Having some fun. We're getting a little risky now. Man, you could just throw this thing around. have a great time. Like I said, I've been getting really comfortable with it. This is at our local field that's really close to the house, so I've actually had a lot of time to fly the bison and get used to it. And like I said, as I've worked it in, I've really moved that CG back, and it has helped it tremendously on the way it flies. Let's put one notch of flaps in. Ooh, we're gonna get out in the weeds. Let's get it over here. Look at that, one notch of flaps. Punch it, punch it, Chewy, there we go. Let's do another touch and go. Bring her around, still got that one notch of flaps in. Woo! We are ripping this thing around. Such a fun plane. Really have that confidence to get down into the weeds now with it. Follow down that runway. Touch and go. Put her up in the knife. It loves knife edges. Loves them. Oh no! One of my wheels just came off. <laughs> Well, that's gonna make it exciting on this landing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, um. Little too risky biscuits. Got a little, little too excited on this flight. <laughs> I think one of the screws came loose. 
Well, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this so I don't damage my model. So if you ever have an issue like this, since we're here, you can see the plane's flying no problem, but you see all that tall grass around us? Instead of landing this out in front of us in the nice pretty stuff, I'm gonna aim over here for this larger grass here in a second. Let's do a practice approach. You know, emergencies happen, no time to film them like when they're actually happening. I'll tell you what, that dangling weight off the bottom makes it fly weird. But see, I'm gonna practice my approach into the wind. We're gonna try and hit right in that tall stuff. See that right there? We're gonna get the plane as slow as we can and we'd land right there. Now, like I said, we're practicing. It looks so silly. It's up there, so we might as well enjoy this here. So let's practice our emergency landing. Here we go. I think we're gonna take it on this one. You know, things happen sometimes and you just have to be ready for them. One minute. So here we go. If it looks good, we're gonna take it. We're gonna get the airplane slow and established. I missed the right grass. We're gonna go around and try again. I wanna put it in that certain spot that I'm aiming for. This is that emergency landing stuff. It's not always gonna go perfect for you. All right, here we go again. I'm gonna get the airplane set up. We're gonna fly it in right on that edge. Ah, as close as we could. I bet we didn't hurt a darn thing though. Let me go pick it up. Let's check out what happened. All right, so pilots, all that happened was this unthreaded and it didn't damage the airplane at all. So let's just go on and push that back in there. As you can see, I've got it. Let's see here. See that? And now we can thread it back in. So it just unscrewed and loosened off. Too much turbulence. Too much turbulence, too much tundra in. Okay, and then we're a little bit bent now from that landing. So we're gonna take and just give it a little bit of a bend, get it back to kind of straight. I need to be back home on the bench to do this right, but there we go, bent it back to about straight now. Uh, I've also lost the spring is the only problem. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Darn. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna have to get a new spring for it, unfortunately, but that was all the damage that happened from that little experience. As you can see, the model itself is absolutely fine. And in better news, I actually have an extra spring because I have an extra set of landing gear for this at the house. So this will be back up and flying in no time. Hey, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to always like, share, and subscribe here on Motion RC. Uh, you never know what you're gonna see. I don't always win like you can see here. Uh, and you know, that's part of the RC hobby. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you in the next video, whether it's land, sea or air. Motion RC has what you want. Bye, guys.